praise the lord i will give thanks to the lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation good evening dear friends it's a joy for me to welcome you all to worship our lord and god in this sunday evening worship service this is the 18th sunday after trinity today we are privileged to have reverend dr songram basumathari the dean for post graduate studies who is also a professor in the department of christian theology and ethics he will lead us in the worship service dr songram basumathari is married to mrs ranjita and they are blessed with two children we know elruva and elrina the dear children of god god has blessed this family in the ministry for many long years and we are very happy to have dr songram basmathari leading us in the worship i invite him to make this service a blessing to us let us prepare ourselves to worship god in spirit and in truth O come let us sing to the lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation sisters and brothers we have come together with our longings our faith and with our doubts we have come together seeking the depths of our faith in prayer we have come together to share to learn to grow in unity and in the love of god let us worship god in the name of the parent the son and the holy spirit let us pray almighty god reveal to us in the weakness of our crucified lord we thank you for enabling us to worship you this evening we thank you for the gift of life you have bestowed upon us lord you know our thoughts and our desires and no secret is hidden from you by our holy spirit prepare us now so that we may love you and worship you according to your will through jesus christ our lord amen tere yaar कर जीवन दे दे दया की याचना करो तेरे यार करो तेरे यार करो पाप क्षमा कर जीवन दे दे दया की याचना करो तेरे यार सर्वशक्तिमान तू ही है मेरे जीवन का संगी तू ही महान सर्वशक्तिमान तू ही है मेरे जीवन का संगी हृदय किताब से दे जंकार हृदय किताब से दे जंकार तेरी आराधना हे माधुर्गी जीवन से मेरे तू महिमा पाए एक ही कमना करो पाप क्षमा कर जीवन दे दे दया की याचना करो तेरी आराधना करो कन 
कन में छाया है तेरी ही महिमा कारा भक्सी करते हैं तेरी प्रशंसा भक्सी करते हैं तेरी प्रशंसा हर पल सुनाती है आनंद कारा मेरी भी भक्ति तुझे ग्रहण हो हृदय से प्रार्थना करो पाप क्षमा कर जीवन दे दे दया की याचना करो तेरी Let us give our praise and thanksgiving to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank and praise you Jesus Christ, King and Lord of all, given the name above every other name. Jesus, King and Lord of all, we worship and adore you. King of righteousness, King of peace, enthroned at the right hand of majesty on high. Jesus, King and Lord of all, we worship and adore you. Great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us. Jesus, King and Lord of all, we worship and adore you. Pioneer of our salvation, you bring us glory through your death and resurrection. Jesus, King and Lord of all, we worship and adore you. Every knee bows to you, every tongue confesses you. you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, to the glory of prayer and God. Amen. Let us confess sins together. Merciful God and gracious God, we confess that we have failed many a times to respond to your loving guidance in our lives. We accept that we have been preoccupied with your own preconceptions and perceptions and how develop the sense of pride in your scientific and technological advancement the corona virus has made us realize our limitations our inefficiency and recognize our flaws and our weakness due to the arrogance and pride of our heart we have forgotten our commitment to the cross of our crucified lord to be in solidarity with the weak and vulnerable in this perilous times we pray that you will forgive our prejudice and our stubbornness to accept your will we pray that you renew our thoughts words faith and action that we might be a cruciform humanity expressing your kenotic love through participation and solidarity with all humanity amen almighty god who forgive or who forgive one another and truly repent of their sins have mercy on you pardon and deliver you from all your sins confirm and strength strengthen you all in all goodness and keep you all in eternal through jesus christ our lord amen my faith i believe in god the parent almighty maker of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered and upon his pilot was crucified dead and was buried he descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of god almighty from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen
Today's scripture portion taken from the Bible, Psalm 8, 4 to 9. Psalm 8, 4 to 9. What are human beings that you are mindful of them? Mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them domain over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the feet, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the path of the seas. O Lord, our salvation, O majestic in your name now in all the earth. Here ends the Bible reading. Praise be to God. The scripture reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, 6 to 8. The scripture reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, 6 to 8. Your voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are of grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. Here is the reading passage. Amen. The love of God, the peace of Christ Jesus, and the comfort of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Breathe on us the breath of God, O oh Lord, so that we may hear your words. Amen. I don't want to preach a long sermon this evening, but just to invite you for 12 minutes to reflect with me on cross and corona. How small the greatness of human is, how great the smallness of God is. In the greatness of human, God has become small. In the smallness of God, human becomes great. By becoming small, God is great. And become, by becoming great, human is small. And the cross and corona tells us this is true indeed. How great is human? What are human beings that you are mindful of them? Mortals that you care for them. Yet you have met them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all the sieve and oxen, and also the beast of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. Yet, see how small and helpless humans are. All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fats. When the bread of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flowers fades, but the word of our God stands forever. And out of helplessness, human cries out. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And the cross and corona tell, this is true indeed. Trying to become great, humans said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole world. But Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which mortals had built, and the Lord said, Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, 
so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the whole world. Yes, human proposes, God disposes. For God's thoughts are not our thoughts, nor God's ways our ways. Indeed, God's will is not our will, and our will is not God's will. And the cross and corona tell this is true indeed. Trying to be religious, humans said, I will worship God in this mountain. But God said, In that time, you will not worship me neither in this mountain nor in the temple. The hour is coming, the worshippers will, and it is now here, when the true worshippers will worship God in spirit and in truth. For God is spirit, and those who worship God must worship in spirit and in truth. The cross and corona tell, and this is true indeed. Trying to bring God home, humans said, I will build a temple for you to dwell forever. But God said, No, I don't want to dwell in the temple nor shrine built by human hands. You are the temple of the Lord where I live in. And the corona tells, Yes, this is true indeed. Trying to please God, human said, I shall come into your house with burnt offerings. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with smoke of sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and gods. But God said, Sacrifices and offerings I have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings I take no pleasure, but to do the will of God. O mortal, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? I hate, I despise your festivals and feasts, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. And the offerings of your well-being, of your fatted animals, I will not look upon them. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps, but let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. And the corona tells, yes, this is true indeed. Dear friends, look, on the cross, human pride and human arrogance is brought down. And in the corona, greatness of human has become too small again. In the cross, we see the greatest divine solidarity. And in the corona, God demands that solidarity, not only for human, but for entire creation. What greater human solidarity can there be than the solidarity of cross and corona? Yes, we felt sorry and said, the public worships are canceled. But God probably says, I don't care, but what I care is that you care for the creation. Out of helplessness, we feel it is finished. But who knows, God says, it is just beginning. We may say, Corona has closed the church in worship. But God probably would say, no. Corona has set me free from the closed door temples and helped me to come to the true temple of the Lord. Feeling said, the worshippers say, God must be upset with me. We have stopped worshiping God. But God would surely say, No, you have worshiped me the most in spirit and in truth in your heart. Feeling guilty, the faithful say, the Sabbath is dishonored and we have sinned against God. But God would say, no, you have honored the Sabbath best. Sabbath is not gone, but Sabbath has come to you. Family and friends say, Corona has separated us from relationship and fellowship. But God would say, no, 
it has brought humanity and the entire creation closer. People may think and say the churches are empty, no praise, no worship, no fellowship. But God would say, no, the earth is filled with rejuvenation and rejoicing. Out of existential struggles, people may say, sun has set, darkness has come. But surely God would say, no, the dawn is coming, the sun is rising. Beloved in Christ, at the cost of one innocent life, God revealed greater plan in and through the cross. And at the cost of millions of innocent lives, how much greater and better plan would God rebuild in the cruciform corona? We cannot imagine. Yes, we are indeed helpless. Our days are like grass and a flower of the field. When wind blows on us, we are gone. But is not God mindful of us? Does not God care for us? Yes, Lord is my shepherd, who restores my soul. God leads me in paths of righteousness for God's name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. God's rod and God's staff, they comfort me. May the Spirit of God breathe on us the bread of faith, courage, and hope to take life like St. Paul, like Martin Luther. And in such a testing times like this, help us say, if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. For whether we live or whether we die, we belong to the Lord. Even if I knew that tomorrow the world would go into pieces, I would still plant my apple tree today. Dear beloved, may God breathe on us the bread to sing. It is well with my soul. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord thou hast My 
I sin not in part, but the whole is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Let us intercede. Righteous God, we pray that your justice and manifest in our liberator Jesus Christ might continue to provoke us to be a vibrant, indignant and justice-oriented community. Help us to recognize the ever-present reign of God in us so that we might be engines of transformation. We continually engage and end over in hope to realize the reign of God in this world, which acknowledges the vulnerable, the oppressed, and the dehumanized. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, we pray that we do not yield to disparity in this correct context of religious nationalism, and so called patism, which serves as tool in the hands of dominant to perfectually suffice as voice of the oppressed and the dehumanized the lord we pray that you renew our mind and spirit to prophetic imagination to be a decent voice against the hegemonic structure and to stand in solidarity as a prophetic community in defense against to all forces which deny life lord in your mercy Hear our prayer. Crucified God, we pray and beseech your divine comfort and consolation upon the bereaved family of Manisha, who was brutally raped and killed. Lord, help us to be channels of your love by being in solidarity with the vulnerable and the oppressed. Lord, we pray for your grace upon us to be the physical embodiment of our crucified Lord. In reflecting the canoting expression of love through our being, help us to realize the subversive power of the cross in our weakness and strengthen us to proclaim it. In the face of any or any forces which deny life, in doing so help us to breathe the breath of life. Lord, in your mercy. Gracious God, we pray for the Gurukul community and we thank you for the gift of diversity. We pray for your divine protection and grace upon the principal, professor and non-teaching staff and the student body and their families. We pray for all who are in need of your healing presence in their lives. We especially pray for Abhi Charles, Srikanth and Rupa's father. Heal them in your mighty hand and get speedy recovery from every diseases. Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Creator God, we thank you for enabling us to take part in this time of worship and empowering us with your word. We praise you for calling us to be your servant and we beseech your help to rebuild and renew our faith which has been shaken and shattered during the course of time. Help us to be wise to build our faith on the solid foundation of Christ so that it may stay stronger throughout our journey in your service and be the witness among people. This we submit to you through the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Lord's Prayer Our parent, God in heaven, holy be your name, your reign come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into time of trial, but deliver us for evil. 
for the reign the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all